when we're will call. This episode is about Freud's American nephew, Edward Bernays. Bernays is almost completely unknown today, but his influence on the 20th century was nearly as great as his uncle's. He showed American corporations for the first time how they could make people want things they didn't need by linking mass-produced goods to their unconscious desires. What Eddie got from Freud was indeed this idea that there is a lot more going on in human decision making than this idea that information drives behavior. What Bernays had created was the idea that if a woman smoked, it made her more powerful and independent. An idea that still persists today. He organized fashion shows in the department stores and paid celebrities to repeat the new and essential message. You bought things not just for need, but to express your inner sense of yourself to others. He was, he claimed, the first person to tell car companies they could sell cars as symbols of male sexuality. It seems so much longer than last year. It is. Nearly four inches longer in some models. Oh! It meant that irrelevant objects could become powerful emotional symbols of how you wanted to be seen by others. And you see, that moved Eddie immediately into a different category from other people in his field and most government officials and managers of the day who thought if you just hit people with all this factual information, they would look at that and say, oh, of course. And Eddie knew that was not the way the world worked. The dream is the royal road to these thoughts. The royal road to the unconscious. Thank you.